Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to install the CMS management tool uh, onto a PC to allow us to access uh, onto the OAHD uh, high, uh, analog high definition DVRs. So not everybody will be using this. One of the typical applications why people would do it is if they had multiple DVRs on a single setup, they'd use a management tool like this to access it. Although some people do prefer to view directly instead of their phone or whatever like that, be able to view it over the network from their PC. So we took the mini CD that came with the DVR and we were able to install it directly onto the PC. Or in our case, what we did actually, we copied it over to a USB and then installed it on a little laptop computer that we have here. So this is the software um, in terms of and when we did the installation on it, we ran it, we ended up with this uh, application here, which we're going to click open in a moment. And we have to put the settings into it now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to say yes. So we'll see this the first time we're bringing it up to do the setting on it. What we need to do now is we need to add our particular DVR to it. So what we need to do here is our system uh, set up here. We'll come up as far as monitor. And we're going to click that we want to add a uh, uh, device here. We just click here add so we're going to add the dvr that we have set up in our video room here so i'm just going to type in for the name of it i'm just going to type in video room okay uh, the admin is fine and we actually need to change the password here so it needs to be one two three four five six and uh, when we come to actually enter the, the ip address we could normally enter the static ip address uh, but what we're going to do here at this point is we're just going to actually enter in the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the, the local area network one, simply because if we don't expose our, our IP address externally, simply because for security reasons you'd never want to do that. But it's exactly the same procedure. So this is the IP address of the local router here. So it is um, 168 and then it's 1 and then eventually I'll come to the last one here, I'll just highlight it. It's a 29. And when we come along to the port that we're going to use, um, by default, we didn't need to change this, it'll be just 8,000. And um, when we come to see what type of device we're going to be using, we're going to be using what, a 4, 6, 8 or 16 way here. And we'll just click save here. And that's it saved onto it, okay? So at that point in time here is what we can do is we've saved it on, I can actually X out here. And what I can do is here, I can click into the, the device list and we'd see the video here. So um, it knows it's a four way. And I just want to click here and I'm going to double click on it now. What it does is it's brought it up. And if we had another one there, we could click into a different window and I could bring up camera three here if I wanted on it, which there is none as it happens, all the rest of it. So you can see it's pretty straightforward in relation to how we do it. Uh, we just added this in because we want to have a comprehensive range. The picture quality on the OA HD DVRs is so good that, you know, a very large percentage of people who are going to buy them are going to be professionals. Uh, we're doing professional installs, all the rest of it. So we added this in here because guys who are doing multiple setups, multiple DVRs, particularly in large shops, things like this, this will be uh, reasonably um, common to be using this. And we just wanted to show the software that's set up for it. Extremely easy to use. So that's it anyway, an overview of the CMS um, management tools uh, installed successfully on a PC for uh, remote network viewing uh, for the OAHD DVRs.